Hey folks, Quilly King here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld! This is the Children of Eden edition, and I am recording this still sort of in a chain with the other episodes. Technically, it's a new day for me, but uh, I'm still kind of ahead of the series, and I want to try to avoid doing that this time because the, the feedback and the tweaking of the gameplay has been really valuable. But I'm really in the mood to play some more RimWorld, so that's what's going to happen over here. I'm trying to try to limit myself to only one or two episodes today, so I don't get too far ahead. But man, oh man, I do enjoy this game a lot. we got some visitors over here. Everything is swell. we got seven people. Unfortunately, no cane. Rip cane. Um, I'm only 96%. I guess, you know, the construction jobs are not that high. You're going to grill some steaks, which is fine. I don't think we have any booze production going on right now, because we haven't had a harvest in a while. Although, speaking of... We've got you. Um, I just realized this is all enclosed. Now, it's so big that I don't think it can be roofed, but I never did actually explicitly build a, or do a do not roof this area thingy over here. So, I think we got to go one more notch above that. There we go. Just in case. And then actually we could build a little roof right on the inside edge over here to prevent any snow accumulation and things like that. That's not a bad idea, actually. Um, build roof area. I might want to do it on the outside, too. I don't know. Well, something like that. Well, something like that as well. You know what? Yeah, I will do a little build roof on the outside. So we have a little overlap where no snow should accumulate. It also might give people a little bit more time not being in the rain, depending on where they're walking. And can prevent some annoying debuffs. Interesting that that's not covered, I guess because of the double thick, but we'll do that. All right, and leave that something like this. And this is all enclosed. Yeah, yeah, indoors, excellent, wonderful. All right, still hoping for some more cloth at some point so we can build that billiards table, get some nice variety in fun. So yeah, construction-wise, I guess it would be giggles, and what are you doing? Well, you're building a roof now. I'm just surprised you haven't gotten around to, um, to doing a few repairs here. Huh? Oh, right! I decided to th throw a line in between... I like how Oliver's following Rebecca. Uh, throw a line through this one and this one over here, just to see if there's anything. Um, I guess compact machinery is fairly handy. Oh, I like how she just drilled through there and went there. Let's move these rocks, actually, because they might um, minimize the path later on. Mine connected ores. I wonder if I should do another one. Yeah, I probably should. There's a chance there's something in here. It's fairly unlikely. I don't even have to go all the way through. Maybe something like that. And a little something like that. That should show this. Okay. Everything else, I think, is basically too small. I mean, I guess there's a chance there might be compact machinery in there, but we may not care. Uh, industrial fermenting is done. Oh, right. Did I just want to do it that way? The larger fermenting barrels? Okay, what do we need to build that? I forgot that that was coming through. Is it under production? Industrial... Wood steel. Eh, just one batch. You know what? It wouldn't fit very well. If 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 it was just a two by two area or a four by four area or something like that, I would switch it. I'm gonna leave these guys in for now. Until until we get to the point where we're truly making industrial levels of alcohol, then we'll switch to the other bin. But for now this is gonna be okay. Uh so yeah, giggles. Okay, still building roofs. Um, moving in a very inefficient fashion. Oh my god, that is painful to watch. <laughs> okay, note to self, only issue a command to do one side of a wall roofed in the future, or your pawns are going to do really, really, really dumb things. Kind of annoys me that there's no floor underneath that. It doesn't actually matter. No, I'm going to leave it. Uh, you're not spinning, but you're fine. Okay. Batteries are going to be totally good. Yes, we've got some fun activities everywhere. We've got Prisoner in here. If we get some more uh, furniture, um, sorry, art. You know what I just realized? There's a thing I like to do to remind myself. Make sure I don't forget things. Um, no, not there, because I think that'll be something else. I'll just put a couple right here. What I'm going to do is clear, whoops, clear all. Um, critical priority for manufactured... Art? Is it items? Ah. No. Where's the... What category does art fall under? It's not raw resources. Unfinished artifacts? No. 
buildings? Oh, it's buildings. There you go. So, critical priority for art. So art's gonna get there, so I'll see. I won't have to go hunting through here for a new art piece, plus then we don't have to carry it very far. Uh, and I'll know that I can start to deploy stuff. Interesting that you're checking out the prisoner prison quarters. They're actually pretty good. Don't you agree? A little stark with the uh, with this. Uh, and Giggles is asleep. Yeah, and he never got around to smoothing that, which I think is a construction job too. So Giggles is still pretty busy. Uh, we got a fair amount of... Well, oh, it's scrolling weirdly, it feels like. Also laggy. Do I have something running in the background? Um... No, not really. Okay. Too many mods? I don't know. All right. Uh, all right, Adam doing some cooking there. He's the only one awake, actually, of the group, making some stir-fried meals. At 3 o'clock in the morning, but you're well-rested. You must have slept off schedule today. Having a chat with your, your mom, Sarah. Still wondering if we can recruit her at some point. We'll see. Grilling some veg. 47 cooked meals now. That's wonderful. Although, again, it does include coffee and tea in that listing, if we have any. But still, we're finally maybe catching up on some of these meals. I think having the Autodors is really helping Adam a lot. Um, but we're still hoping for some more cooks. Because we can be running... We can run... Well, in a sense, assuming we have the resources, we could run five cooks at once and all have someone being producing something. In practice, there's not many resources, but having two cooks would be pretty substantial because they would be doing different stuff for a change. Those still need to be built. Giggles, what are you up to? Building marble tile. Oh, the floor. Yeah, okay, that's a fairly significant job. Also, I just realized, if you want to get to here, this is a long walk around. I think maybe we should build another airlock right here. It'll look a little bit derpy. Now, technically, I believe this would count as being enclosed. Because diagonals block stuff. But it looks pretty stupid. We can all agree. So, I guess I'll still use wood for now. Uh, except we don't have any wood. Alright. I guess some more tree chopping has to happen. Well, I can just click wooden wall. It's selected already. It's not in the menu, though, because I think we may not have it around. Ah, uh, no, maybe because it was already selected. Okay. Uh, right, there's our bedroll. Still got a few more jobs for a few of those, if we get the material. Um, so, Giggles. Tending to Eve. Uh, oh, is it Eve's just uh, anxiety? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's stir-fry, enhanced manipulation from the stir-fry. Yeah. It's because you, you use the chopsticks to eat the stir-fry, and then you're like, oh, I'm feeling good. Mini turret. Um, come over here and work on this auto... Actually... Uh, yeah, yeah. Work on this auto door first. Because what'll happen... Really enjoyed their stay. 34 plasteel bulb chunks. Okay, we will have to process that stuff later on. So those are plants as part of the vegetable garden mod that allow you... Oh, you don't have any components. Um, that allow you... Okay, I did mine that out. We must have components. Oh, you're putting it all to the mini turrets. What mini turret are you building now? Okay, you're building that. I thought it cancelled the mini turret builds to save material slightly. I oh, we got one out there. Um, select similar. There. There. Okay. I guess it got built. Although, that's pretty good coverage. Look at this. I mean, there's there's line of sight blockers, so we can't actually get there. <gasps> I think Oliver is fully trained for combat. Yeah. Him released to attack distant targets instead of just defending its master. All right. I mean, I guess it would defend already, but yeah, we can sick all of our own people. Amazing. All right, you're hauling wood to a blueprint. Uh huh. But yeah, see, if he starts building this, he'll actually vent the uh, he'll vent things. We really had a components, huh? Wonder if there's anything in here. Oh, and you don't have power for this auto door. Now people can still use it if it's unpowered, but then it'll you know move slow again. Um. I think once it's smooth, I can run power through it. I think it's fine. Technically, this is ugly, but we'll do that anyway. Um, and maybe this? We're just inviting some sort of bug attack. But let's do a little something like that to see if we see anything. See if we see anything! Um, yeah, I'm going to cancel this. I don't want that wall to get popped until the doors are built. So you can do this. Uh, oh yeah, I have a tiny little hay um, stockpile. This doesn't get eaten right away, and it can be upgraded to silage. Which 
which I think is fine. We got lots of hay growing now, like tons of it. We might have too much. Oh, I wish we still had those muffalo. Well, we'll just, we're just waiting for some more to come back. They'll get auto flagged for um, taming once they show up on the map. So that should be okay. Everyone's in bed. All our guests are away. Oh, these beds got built and they are masterwork and masterwork. Nice. Uh, four guests. Yeah, so even better than excellent, I think. Eh? So this whole place is slightly impressive and that's with dirt. Got some more visitors. Um, abrasive, but you can cook. Flag you for that. That's green whip. Chemical fascination, creepy breathing. Lots of good skills. I actually didn't check the, uh, the health on green whip. Yeah, you're both fine. All right. Oh, and there's Neil over here too. Careful shooter, lazy. Honestly, any one of you would be acceptable. Since, you know, you don't refuse to do anything useful. So we'll go ahead and enable that anyway. I don't think we're gonna care about interacting with the trade, but um, if we can get some uh, some more free gifts from you, that's really nice. We make a little bit of money simply by offering some rooms here because if they enjoy this day, they leave us some stuff. Um, let's do an urgent haul of that stuff. Get it out of there, because it's just gonna be slowing people down. Random little turrets all over, which is fine. Oliver's having a snooze in there. I was gonna say, is it lit? Did we not floor roof this? But I forgot to put a lamp in there, which is looking lovely. We still got a few dark spots here and there. A little one over there. And then of course this sort of outdoorsy stuff. We don't have the whole stockpile yet, but that's gonna be okay. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with things. Newton's reviewing art, which should make him feel pretty happy. Working on making a decent bed over here. Oh, we got one over here. There you go, excellent quality. Killer gore. Newton is sweating. P refers to Newton finishing research on hospital bed. Ooh, how exciting. And we do have those queued up. But again, we need a ton of components for this. And that is... Hey, we have more steel here! All right. Mine connected ores. Are you revealed? Oh, because we're tearing down some of these walls. Yes, we got some otters over here. Colin's need treatment. Y crow for his anxiety, most likely. And yeah, at some point we'll probably get rid of the floor. There you go. You're gonna haul the sandstone blocks back without being asked, which is nice. That's the while you're up mod, I think, or whatever. Very, very convenient to auto pick things up. Uh, blocks over here too. Got some ibexes we could hunt, but we don't really need to. What is this? Oh, that's salt. Um, yeah, let me mine this, and then mine that too. Sure, why not? That hey, more compact the machinery. Eh, that is a really small clump. What's this over here? Plasteel. Ha ha ha. Um, it's gonna slow people down, but it's so far from the hauling spot, I don't think I'll bother. Oh, it's very little plasteel. Now, it, since these chunks are so small, I'm wondering if we should go and do a little bit more of this? Like, there might be more to find. It's so, like, do a little... <gasps> Psychic ship. Okay. This is our first real challenge here with our group. Shit just got real, yo. A little bit of fire. All right. So... We need to take this guy, this, this thing out. The psychic drone's just gonna get worse and worse. I, we actually might be able to route, run power out here and then set up the three turrets we've already got. I think that actually would be a very good idea. I think that would be fairly cheap to do. We will lose the turrets, of course, but I think that's gonna have to be okay. Um, actually, we'll run you right through the door for an auto door maybe later. I don't know. This will use a little less material, although I still have to turn the corner, so maybe not. Do something like this. And I guess, yeah, I can leave the game running for now. Um, fire may spread a fair bit. Unless it starts raining. And let's see. What we're going to do is we're going to go structure. And yeah, right over here, we'll get a set up for three turrets. So this will contain, oops, this will contain the explosion of turrets when they die. So they won't destroy each other or anything like that. Then we'll build, just a wooden embrasure is gonna be fine here. 
maybe a little bit over here so we can stand behind that and shoot we may want to get rid of some of these trees i don't think the the critters go for cover but what i'll do is i will actually say chop these trees because we can use the wood over here for material so someone should go over there and cut that at a pretty high priority it, should, it will probably be left here and then we can use it for our various construction and that's going to be a-okay and then all these guys and i guess i have to do this one at a time actually reinstall at that is in range right uh reinstall at not if anyone thinks spawns in the back I may have done this a little too too far away, but I guess it will be all right. And then another one here. Now, I don't know if it's going to bring their bullets with them or not, or we'll just have to reload it. Armor piercing is definitely what we want here. Because I assume mechanoids count as being fairly well armored. All right, fire's still burning, although it's moving away from the base, which is nice. Giggles, you're going to be hauling steel for these things, which is fine. Now you're going to relax socially. I guess that's fine, too. Um, all the steel over here, I think we need to put a hull urgently, because we've got some construction projects going on for the power conduits, and it would just suck to, like, pick this up ineffectually. Why is Rebecca so upset? Oh, the psychic drone. Your nephew died. Yeah, but still. Still, things are pretty swell, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Um, I might go ahead and issue a deconstruct over here, too. Oh, we don't have a research project. Well, that's okay, that's okay because um, that just meant Newton was doing something else, but let's get this going here. Um, maybe we want to unlock tree sewing. What? Stop. Oh, heat wave. Well, that's somewhat inconvenient right now. Especially since we still don't have central air. Um, which reminds me, actually. Okay, we did unlock some of that. I think there's an advanced version, though, isn't there? Um, we might actually just want to look into uh, component manufacturing. Um, the industrial one, maybe, but... Over here. Oops. Fabrication lets us make various amounts of components. It is locked because we need the multi analyzer. So I guess we're going to research multi analyzer right now. It'll increase our, our research times. So even if we're not researching something that we need the multi analyzer for, we still might appreciate it. So we don't have to rush to this, although the psychic drone's going to get worse and worse. So, you know, people can construct whatever they're doing. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a bunch of bolt hauling of this, which is going to be okay. These guys enjoyed their stay, which is nice. If we had the communication stuff, which I don't think we've unlocked. Oh, we have. Okay, no, we do. Um, let's put it in here. It's big. It's sort of awkward to fit in here. Um, actually, this wouldn't be so bad over here. Cancel those. Put the console right there. Orbital trade beacon. None of components stored, but we may as well put it down. I realize it misses one of our squares here, but it's not the end of the world. It doesn't cover this, which is probably fine. I don't know. Yeah, there's none of components. Um, yeah, we'll throw one in as well. We might want to do a little bit of trading there. I know, again, it doesn't cover everything, but it's okay. So we're, we're grabbing some crops, which is okay. You're still hauling the steel. Do a little micro haul here. And then you're going to go grab more steel, I think. Yeah, we're going to have to start some things soon here. power cables yeah well when we're done collecting all the steel and i think what i'll do is i'll cancel this at this point we've got enough stored up so tomorrow we'll eat a steak everyone go rest i think the rest of the construction will start to happen um especially if we get some tree cutting done what i might want to do is crank some priorities for that uh there's still some construction set up over here let me go and forbid the marble floor from being constructed 
I might want to do that to a few of these other things, too. I don't know, the trade here is pretty important. Oh, everyone having a meal together for breakfast? That's quite nice. Why crow, relaxing, Eve, you're weaving hemp cloth. Oh, that's what we can do with smoke leaf, too. That's true. That might be okay, since we're not doing drug production right now. I think it might be okay to leave that going. Hmm. On the other hand, we might just want to save it up. Cloth woven from the stuff those guys who are smoking. Stuff woven from the stuff those guys are smoking. Who decided that wearing this is a good idea? Question mark, period. Okay. This is from a mod, I, so the, the thing is kind of a little wonky. Um, yeah, we're going to just suspend this job. We'll keep the smoke leaf around. We've got some hemp, which is good, but then we'll leave it at that. All right, Giggles, what are you up to? You are working on that. And then, okay, you're going to go cut these trees. Excellent. Some of which are just in the way of the power cable, which is fine. Um, I'm wondering if I go and, and crank up the tree cutting behavior for more people. It might be worth it real quick. Yeah, real quick. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on number one for everyone. Just go do this in bulk and then I might turn on some more construction. I don't know. I guess Giggles can keep being the only constructor. It's a big job. I don't necessarily want to take Adam off of making food. This Rebecca is still feeling pretty miserable and she is. Soaking wet, slept in the heat. Oh yeah, it's 52 degrees outside. That is really goddamn hot. And yeah, our freezer is definitely not working as a freezer. What we'll do is we'll, we'll prep a couple of those. That was always the thing with the heat wave. So we're going to get that. But at least it's a cool place that someone can run to if there's a disaster. Um, we really do need some temperature control in the hospital. Because if people get sick from the heat stroke and they go to the hospital, then they'll keep being sick. What I can do is I can put down some emergency medical beds maybe over here. That's not a bad idea. If I go to furniture, sleeping spot, flag them as medical because we can just send people over there instead. Deep, serious heat stroke, see? Seeking safe temperature. Yeah, good. Just wait it out, man. Don't die. Rescuing would be a pain in the ass. Um... I mean, I could even put a... I could put a cooler here for now. Or, I start working on a central climate control. So, intake air. Yeah, we need a ton of components. We're still short on that. And then we got to deal with the psyche drone. I think right now we're just going to try to mostly hunker down and wait. Oh, this salt. Um, let me assign everyone... Uh, restrict. That's the screen I'm looking for. Everyone, just stay in the home area for now. Don't venture too far away. I'm worried that you're going to get heat stroke and die while you're out there. How about uh, Oliver? Yeah, he's got some as well. So, only do work that's near here. Even then, that's far from perfect. Minor heat stroke. Uh-huh. Getting some rain. Hopefully that'll break some of this heat wave. Pain, hot, slept in the heat. Well, at least your temperature here is being reset. You're wired from caffeine. Whee! Okay. It's helping to cancel out the heat stroke. I guess it's iced coffee. Eh, seems pretty good. Um, okay, so now we have no temperature protection over here at all. Unless you can get this cooler done. Uh, whoops. Well, that was a bit of an error. Could roof it or something, but or just cancel this spacecraft. Oh, there'll be a component. Hold on. Uh, Giggles, I know this is outside your allowed area. Uh, I guess I'll let you sleep. Adam, do you have any construction enabled? No, but... 
turn it on now. Come over here. You can disrupt this for me, will you? It's raining 39 out there. It's nighttime. It's still unbelievably hot, but you have serious heat stroke. This is, um... Yeah, this is a mistake. Yeah, some rotting. That's fine. At least we're in the, you know, we're in the growth season again. Rebecca. Come on, Adam. You can make it. 38 degrees. It's not going to make the heat stroke much worse right now, but it's not going to make it go away at 38. Yes, okay. Eat that, sure. Yes, you're going to haul that. Wonderful. Certainly need to halt the whole way. You're back over here. So we got... Man! How are we still just on, like, a relatively low difficulty? I think we're on rough, aren't we? Um, options. Uh, storyteller settings. We are on rough, but that's not that high. And we're getting freaking heat stroke at the same time as the psychic ship. This is really brutal timing. The game does like to do that. It does like to do one more than one thing at a time. It knows what it's doing. All right, Adam, I'm gonna reset you real quick so you drop it, and then Giggles, you're gonna come over here and you have a component. Oh, Adam picked it up again. Okay, now Giggles, come over here and work on this. Thanks. Drone intensifies, yep. We haven't really done enough work over here, although we got all the wood chopping done, which is nice. Uh, let me turn off all the plant cut, and back to a two and a two. I think I'll leave it on for Adam, actually. Extreme break risk. Solar flare? Psychic Ship, Heat Wave, Solar Flare. Has the game decided that we should just be done now? So, just as I get this rehooked up, none of our electronics are going to work. Well, luckily, it's a good thing this is happening not, like, in mid-battle and all of a sudden our, our turrets shut down, but... Holy crap, game. Well, we're going to put a cut in here. We've got nowhere to go that's cold now. Uh, we could set up a passive cooler. That might be worth it. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Maybe we'll go and we'll throw two down here. Uh, all right, we got to put a cut in here. Who just collapsed? Adam just collapsed. Eve, can you rescue him, please? Uh, see, okay, Giggles did plug that in. I'm going to cancel that. Giggles, eat your steak. I got to put a cut in here. And now come over here. And set up passive cooling right away. Eve has collapsed as well. Everyone's going to collapse. Hang on. Um, I'm going to cancel those temporary medical beds. Make this medical. Come on, don't collapse yet. Okay, passive cooling one. Passive cooling two. You're now rescuing people. Good. Uh, you're not. 34. Um. Oh, can I not select people from here? Rescue. Uh, then we gotta rescue Nana. Leave your back up. Down to minor heat stroke. Okay, rescue Nana. At least we have a safe spot again. 25 degrees and the medical beds. You're going to use some components to set that up, which I guess is fine. Yeah, three will... I don't know. Let me go and unforbid everything. Solar flare is ending, so we'll have power again. So this is once again going to work. Now, it, might not, it still might not be able to get to below freezing here with the heat stroke, but it'll be okay. Um, oh, right, because of our beds. Uh, expand zone, do that. Like, why do we lose some stuff over here? But that would be why. Giggles is serious heat stroke. Could you, like... Okay, you're seeking safe temperature. Good. So I could just have instructed you to move over there or something, but do that. I mean, the bedrooms are still way too hot at 45. As long as we've got a place... So the heat stroke resets itself pretty quickly. So, I mean, that's nice. We can always force recruit people and just have them stand here for a little bit, too. That's a possibility. 
I don't know how these passive coolers made out of pure wood work. I have no clue how, what they're supposed to represent. How's Oliver doing? Ah, you have no health. You have no uh, heat stroke, so that's good. Got salt over here. Okay, we'll put a cut in here. We survived so far. Right, we survived the solar flare, and we now have, at least we don't have to worry about dying from heat stroke, probably. It's not certain, but probably. This is down to nine degrees, so we have this safe spot as well now, too, now that our power is working again. But yeah, we'll keep that going on. We do have to set, set up the centralized climate control sooner rather than later. I would like to have centralized heating before the, uh, the next winter kicks in, um, which would give us an opportunity to perhaps um, deconstruct all these heaters and get some of the pure material back. I might want to just uninstall a couple and then deconstruct the rest. That way I can always deploy heaters somewhere strategically if needed. But we'll put a cut in here. Folks, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.